Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Kevin and this is the Wrench and Fool. So in today's video, we're back in my 2019 Chevy Bolt EV uh, and we're doing another efficiency test. I know what you're thinking. I can hear it coming through the internet right now. It's like, yay, another efficiency test. Uh, but I think this one's going to be a little bit different, a little bit more interesting than just the regular old efficiency test. So hang in there. Um, today is an unusually hot day here for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, right now, leaving the house, it's about 2 o'clock. It's, uh, it's already up to 106 degrees, and they're predicting a high of 115 today. So that's I know that's not unusually hot for some other parts of the world, but for here in the Pacific Northwest, that is definitely hot. So I think for this video, what we'll do is see what effect the higher temperatures have on efficiency. Uh, my initial gut instinct is that it's going to, uh, it's going to decrease our efficiency because we're run, having to run the air conditioner pretty hard. Um, and of course, you know, as with everything else in an electric vehicle, uh, that takes electricity. So I think that that's going to reduce our efficiency, but, uh, we don't guess, we test. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let me just get unplugged here and then we'll get out on the road and uh, see how it goes. Right, so we've made it to the turnaround point here. I'm gonna to try to make this quick because I've got the AC running here. I don't want it to affect our efficiency, uh, but we're sitting at 83.8 miles traveled so far, uh, 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, we've used 22.1 kilowatt hours. Um, yeah, that's surprisingly good considering how hard the AC is blowing. Uh, it's 107 degrees here. We started off 106 back at the house. So I'm gonna get back on the freeway, start heading back home. The only potential bummer is that on the way here, I saw two different traffic jams going the opposite direction. So I'm hoping they'll have cleared up by the time I get there. That's probably about another 30 miles back south uh, before I would hit those. So fingers crossed it's cleared up by the time we get there. If not, I might have to end the test early. Right, we've made it back to our finishing point or starting point, I guess, same point, 
all the information is going to be there on the screen but basically we've traveled 169.8 miles 48.2 kilowatt hours used uh, which comes out to about three and a half miles per kilowatt hour now it didn't end up being the clean test that i was hoping for um, when i left the house today uh, to do this test there was no traffic or at least no traffic jams uh, showing on the maps so you know traffic changes at the blink of an eye especially when you have a large collection of idiots on the road they seem to like to crash into each other and cause problems for everybody else but so anyway i think the overall takeaway here is that um if anything the higher temperatures may have helped the efficiency of the bolt a little bit um it definitely didn't hurt it but the fact that we had almost the same overall efficiency for the trip as we did you know this time we're running the air conditioning pretty hard because it's hot outside um, and we had almost the same efficiency slightly better efficiency than what we did um, on a relatively comfortable cool day without having to use the air conditioning at all so i would say the efficiency overall is probably the efficiency of the drivetrain is probably better at this high temperature but when you add in the air conditioning it sort of cancels that out anyway i think that's it for this video uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video or any other videos, uh, just leave it down in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to all of the comments and questions in there. Otherwise, thanks for watching.